I know it's been some time since I came and spent some time with y'all and ate some grub. My sister been busy. However, we are settling well here in North Dallas. Um, we are one weekend and we survived. I look forward to many, 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 many more years, <laughs> let alone weeks. <laughs> um, we actually got a great head back home, take care of some business for the week. So, but anyhow, we got to get off our seafood wall in here in Texas. And I actually got some um, Cajun boil mix out of the Kroger here. Y'all know Mike's mojo. Uh, it's spicy, honey. Because I opened up with my mouth and some got on my lip. My nose, it's been burning since I started. And then we got some fresh pineapples with some tagine seasoning. Y'all listen, when I go in the Kroger's here and I buy my fresh uh, fruit, it comes with the tagine seasoning. Karine, you got to come unlock, unlock this. And so, um... We got quite a bit of stuff going on, y'all. Got me some fresh cucumbers, uh, and I got some shrimp, and I got some uh, snow crab. Give y'all a good glint. It's hot, y'all. Y'all probably gonna see the steam. I just took it out the pot. Um, and so what I did was I had I've been asking everybody to send me some stories, some requests, some. So I can give y'all some feedback, some advice, something you want to hear about, uh, that you want to know, like, what is my advice? And by the way, my, my shirt says, make love, not war. By the way, shout out to our first female and African-American and Native American vice president. Uh, Miss Harris, I look forward to everything that you're going to do and more. You are paving the way, sister. You go, girl. Um, shout out to our new president, Joe Biden, President Biden. Y'all already know that was Obama's sidekick, so we got to know him a little bit. Just a little bit. He was, he was very respectful of our president. You know, he never overstepped his boundaries. He came in right when he needed to. I, I, I love that guy. I'm a very respectful guy. And let's try this out real quick. Ooh. It's a big seasoning. Y'all, oh bro, woo, woo, child, that's spicy. That is spicy. That's what I had a taste for. Though. It's not real spicy. Woo, child, I gotta bring some of that home. Yes, ma'am. Woo, wee, that's probably what they're using in a the restaurant. That's the that stuff uh, tastes like restaurant gravy. Woo! The Cajun. Mm. Oh boy. Y'all forgot my fresh lemons. I went to our neighborhood Kroger here. Y'all know I always gotta find me a Kroger. But Dallas is going well. I actually love here in Texas. I hate the COVID situation. I would love for us to get out and do some stuff. We're going to go to the aquarium. We're going to do some stuff. Also, y'all give me some feedback on children being in class, you know. Because we've been doing, um, we have been doing e-learning, and I'm over it. I can't wait for them to be able to enjoy school, meet some new friends. Um... Some, ooh, y'all, that is delicious. <clears throat> Something they have not been able to do. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to that just as much as they are. Meanwhile, a sister needs the break. <laughs> Like, I don't care what you do, it's hard to go wrong with seafood. You can forget everything and still enjoy it. So, the story I'm gonna tell today um, someone wrote in to me and sent it over. I think it was sent over uh, to another uh, blogger. I was like, wanted to know my, my uh, advice on it. So, we're going to handle that. Y'all, these crab legs are so fresh. <clears throat> these haven't been frozen. <clears throat> they are delicious. Look at all that meat. Mm -hmm. Real y'all. Oh, oh my goodness. That season is delicious. Call me is you can come and unlock it. Just call me. It's delicious. Give me one second. Okay. That glow me, y'all. Let me get y'all a bite. I'm so rude. I ain't get y'all no bite. With my ugly nails. Okay. I'm gonna give myself some yellow, y'all. I just been doing so much unpacking. And I wanted to go after I got done painting and stuff. And put my window treatments up. Because I know I ain't gonna do nothing but want to get them done again. Once I get done painting. I'm gonna get to the story, y'all. <clears throat> One more time, Ryan. skip over the cuss words but I'm going to try to be as authentic as possible this stuff y'all know what she said is the craziest stuff I've ever endured in my life okay here it goes I am I may be long winded I apologize in advance I met this guy on Facebook that has been interested in talking it's taken me to dinner for a while now. He has a special needs daughter that he takes very good care of. And I instantly fell in love with him based on the father he is. Months passed, right? We are dating, dating. I'm picking this daughter from school. Watching her unattended. Without him. It's the whole nine. I'm hesitant because one, I'm a mother. And I would feel some type of way if another woman was raising my kid. I asked the dad about the mother's whereabouts, and he said she ran off when baby girl was born. The grandmother has been uh, the grandmother has been 
the mother figure in the baby girl's life since day one. Well, grandma can't stand me, hates my guts. Uh, excuse me. Disrespects every time I'm around and rude as ever. My boo tells me it's because of the relationship I have with baby girl and she fears we may grow closer and she'll be replaced. Why do mothers do that with their sons? I'm not about to go there. But anyways, I'm understanding of, of that and trying not to overstep my boundaries. The company my best friend works for provides services for special needs children. I tell my boo that this will be a great opportunity for her to learn skills and get services. He agrees and signs her up. My best friend tells him tells me tells him he needs her social security card birth certificate to sign her up and he says he can't find either so she can't get services the other night i'm helping babe with his taxes and baby girl birth certificate falls out i tell him babe here's baby girl's birth certificate right here as i'm reading it he jumps up and snatches the you know what and tell me get the f on what I instantly froze, but in the moment, I didn't really register. The MF and mother's name of baby girl is the same MF and name as the grandmother. Pause, pause, wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? The same name listed as mom is the same as grandma. It's the same name that they call the grandmother. It's, this is bizarre. She said I heard it right. My question is, number one, could this just be a coincidence or did his mama really F him and make baby girl? Black people don't do stuff like this. Number two, I have tried to reach out to him every day, but he has blocked me on every social media site and has changed his number. What? Stuff is weird and crazy as F, but part of me felt like I kind of knew something was off the whole time, but liked him, so I tried to overlook it. Help, y'all. I gotta take a bite. Sister made my nose bad. I think I'm stunned with what she said. Because simply, we don't hear about stuff like that in our communities like African Americans. The homeboy make a baby with his mama. And the fact that he shut down on her, communication-wise, <clears throat> he hasn't been truthful about something. You know, even if he was the most secretive person in the world. Sis, dodge that bullet. That's all I'm gonna say, because if it wasn't something to be worried about, bro man wouldn't have cut you off like that. I'm I'm still devastated. And that's probably why she special needs, because they mixing them genetics, they doing too much. Cause you know what they say. And mama is too old to be having babies. <clears throat> I'm still shocked, y'all. He wanted her to get them services. He was cool with everything until it came to legalizing who she, who that baby belonged to. If I was her, I would just took the birth certificate, did my own research, and never even said I found it. Like I wouldn't be like, baby, I wouldn't have said nothing. This nigga gonna say he said, oh, okay. That would have been my first red flag. Actually, 
the fact that he didn't have it accessible would have been for me I would have been checking right away yes I would have but knowing me I would have already done the background check anyways because I don't play that and she says she's a mom so I would have already done all kind of a private eye how did a private detective that's one thing I ain't doing I don't like to be in the um, don't know what's going on zone I'm definitely gonna know whether I ever say it or not. I know. Definitely. I know exactly what's going on. I'm just waiting on you to be a man and be honest. I'm utterly shocked though. I feel bad for that child. That's the level of dysfunction that don't nobody deserve. For real, for real, y'all. It just don't make dog sense. I need my lemons, y'all. That's what this spicy stuff. Yeah. I mean, I really need my lemons. I can't believe this, y'all. People. <clears throat> Trifling stuff. I think this is the first one. Just, just go ahead. I'm done. I just told you. People, you can just delete it. You really want to be here for people. Be here for people. But secrets throw people off. Secrets throw people off. I mean, she knew. She said she felt something been off this whole time. But she just chose to ignore him. He's a good guy. She liked him. He still might be a good guy. But he got some he got some explaining to do. Especially because now. Since that daughter is going to be looking for you and she's special needs, you've already bonded with her. She's going to be looking for you. Children, period. When they're around adults, like they look for them. And then people think you can walk in and out of people's lives or play games like that. You only hurt the children. Y'all, this don't make no sense how good this is. I waited all day for this meal, honey. Y'all know how I do. It's late, too. It's not where you are in the country. Mm -hmm. Woo, child. Boy, this mix is the bomb. Oh my God. Mm. It's a perfect Cajun spice. It's just perfect. It's not too much. It's perfect. And once again, when you do it at home, I literally could have went to a restaurant. But instead, I went to Kroger. Why? Because I wanted fresh. I don't need a bunch of extra stuff in it. I don't need a bunch of people around it. Y'all know it's COVID, huh? People don't be washing their seafood. Sometimes at night they be selling the dirty seafood. I call it dirty seafood. But the legs don't be pretty like this. They be dark and stuff. I put them in them boxes. 
And you don't even know till you even got home. I hate that. So, yep. You want a seafood boy? I'm going to have them available. In the Indianapolis area for a couple days. Y'all hit me up. Support your girl. It's been a crazy year. This video went fast. Always go fast when you having fun. And you enjoy your meal. Ooh, this may be the bomb of here, boy. Ooh. Mm. That's like a gold mine right there in that car. Y'all. I think that's it. That's all she can do. Excuse me. So I got my <clears throat> fresh pineapple with my tagine, or however you pronounce it. This little pack is coming all the fresh fruit at Kroger. They don't do that back at home. Hopefully these pineapples help me with my spice level right now. Okay. Okay, Texas boy. Oh, that's good. Yes, ma'am. I should got the mango too. Mmm, mmm. Now, this is the bomb. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this slaps. Mm, 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 mm. These pineapples are so sweet and fresh. It's just melt your mouth. This is full, y'all. <laughs> you know, my tummy is a little. I'm enjoying this, y'all. I'm gonna have to go walk it off. Drink me some good old water. I'm really enjoying it because I ain't got to worry about all that heartburn no more. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all know I tell y'all no lies. If you like sweet and savory and juicy. Oh, God. Help me, Jesus. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, one more bite, y'all. It's just so good. But yeah, sis. I know it's gonna be hard, and you know it sounds like somebody literally walked in your life and was ripped back out. I know you bonded with baby girl, and I know you really love him, but he don't come with you with full, authentic type of just transparency. Mm -mm. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Because have you ever heard people say if I tell you I have to kill you there are so many people that are so serious about their secrets they're willing to take out people who decide to expose them and they'll do so much 
and try to make that person look so bad and everything to try to threaten them, you know. There's some ugly stuff going on out here. Sis, I don't even want you to be mixed up in nothing like that. <sighs> Let that go. It's crazy. <sighs> he, something right. Something is not right. And, uh, it's scary. Aren't you scared? I wouldn't ask nothing. The moment I seen it, I wouldn't have said nothing. Do you hear me? Y'all talk to y'all men too much. Sometimes y'all tell too much. <clears throat> he don't need to know everything about your past life, your future life, and your present life. Especially if he... Y'all don't need to be knowing each other that long. Maybe you prying too deep than what he wants to expose to you. Y'all don't have any children together. And y'all not married. So, technically, he's not obligated to tell you his business in that level. But if he wanted a good, open relationship, he would have been very open and honest with you. Right? Even if he couldn't find himself to tell you right up front. The moment he realized you really cared and you was inquisitive, he could have told you. He could have been like, sis, let me tell you what's going on around here. <laughs> me and my mama had a baby together <laughs> sick that's sick um i don't know what's going on with him but he could have but he didn't and i wouldn't force it because that's too much i mean i don't even know if i want to know all of that i just walk out just as fast as i walked in that's all i'm gonna tell you sis um It's hard enough you having to deal with the fact that she's no longer in your life anymore. And her having to deal with the fact that you're no longer in her life. That's enough right there. Let's just leave it right there. Because he probably don't even know how to. Unless every time somebody gets close to him, he does that. And he really wants her. a mother figure. He wants to date and all that. But if his mom has control of his mind, body... Ugh. And so, girl, leave that alone. Mm -mm. Leave that alone. Because it could ruin your life. It could. Or maybe he is. Maybe if his secret is exposed, he may not want to live anymore. Leave that alone. There's too many people out here, good people. Waiting on your good lover. Let that go. Till next time, y'all. Send me those stories over, y'all. Um, and keep praying for us, sister. Wishing us the best. Y'all hear my dishwasher going. Guess what, y'all? I'm using my dishwasher. It's my second time running. I've never used dishwasher. None place I ever lived. I have brand new dishwashers. I never use them. I'm so old school when it comes to washing dishes. But yeah, hang out. Make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe. You'll get to know more about Bernice that you might not know or you might want to know. Um, I can't wait to get back uh, from traveling home so we can get started on jobs, get the kids in school. You know, just, I'm just excited about this new journey I'm on. I'm still kind of shocked. I'm kind of scared of myself at this moment because, baby, everything I said I was going to do this year, I did it. I sure did. Give or take. Some people <laughs> might have had to feel it in a bad way. Some people might have feel it in a good way. But I'm kind of scared of myself right now. But I'm just at that moment in my life. But... That I'm ready to not take any else. I'm ready to win. Okay? And when you just not want to put anybody else before any other person's needs before your own, that's where I'm at. Excuse me. 
But yeah, so I really enjoyed this meal. Can y'all tell? I, I really enjoyed it. I'm able to talk to y'all. I'm calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> I'm burping. Y'all know I got to burp. It's just part of the process. But um, it still feels good. There's no heartburn. <laughs> There's no coughing. I was able to go on down. Thank God for my surgeon. I actually go see her in a couple of days and check back in and make sure everything's healing up good. Um, I'm not going to tell her about this spicy goodness I just had, but um, I am very grateful to be feeling better, y'all. That was a long time to be uncomfortable. So, y'all get pray for us. Uh, we'll be getting on the road here soon and travel on back to Indiana. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Don't forget, go subscribe, like, comment, share. Tell your family. Tune in, okay? All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.